Well, this is really exciting because the new beekeeping season is right around the corner and I'm so pumped and excited to share with you guys today about this new season coming up because I know a lot of you will be interested in ordering packages of bees or nucleus for the new year. We're gonna talk about the two and compare which is better, a package or a nuke and what's the difference? Hey everybody, David Burns, good to be with you today and uh, appreciate you being here. Hope your day is going well. Listen, whether you're a new beginner or you've been keeping bees a while, you're probably wrestling with whether to buy a package or a nucleus. Now you may be asking, why would somebody that's been keeping bees a while um, set out to buy some new bees? Well, sometimes bees die in the winter time, of course, and so some beekeepers are replacing dead outs and other beekeepers are wanting to add to the bees, so they're buying a nucleus or a package and that kind of uh, advance and grow their apiary. So today we're gonna to talk about which one is better and what's the pros and cons of each one, the package or nucleus. Now, uh, let's jump right into it. Let me describe each one. First of all, uh, let's talk about the nucleus. A nucleus is often referred to as a nuke and it's usually five frames of bees, as you can see here. And these five frames are made up of largely brood in various stages, such as eggs, larvae, and pupae. And then there's resources such as nectar and honey and pollen and maybe some bee bread to sustain the bees uh, in that little nucleus uh, box. Now, sometimes when you buy a nucleus, they come in a transport box, they're called. It's sort of like plastic, corrugated, cardboard. It can be cardboard that's wax coated, but by any means, whatever you get the nucleus in, um, the bees are pretty much maxed out when you pick them up and as far as uh, no room to grow. <laughs> and so you get the five frame nucleus and you move them over into your empty hive and put all the frames in there but you gotta take five frames out because you're putting five drawn out frames from the nucleus in there. Does that make sense? That's what a five frame nucleus is. Some people do sell smaller nucleuses, maybe a four frame, but I really recommend you go with a five frame. Also, uh, a characteristic of a nuke is that it's from a large hive, like you see here, that the beekeeper goes over and pulls the main heart of the hive out. The queen, the mother queen that's been laying eggs, she, go, she comes out with her brood into make up that nucleus. And so you're getting the heart of an existing hive and away they go. Now the package, a little bit different, been doing packages for 100 plus years here in the US. And that is because Southern beekeepers located in the warmer Southern or Western states can get a jump on the season and take hives that are really big and they can shake the bees out into a wooden cage or a plastic container with screen on it. And they can shake about 10,000 bees or three pounds of bees into these small containers. These containers then make up this package. They used to be called a swarm, but now we call them a package of bees. The bees are placed in there. These are summertime, usually springtime like bees. So they don't live really long. They live about 40 days. Now in the package, the, the person making up the package actually takes a queen and puts her in a separate cage. We don't remove the queen from the hive that we shake the bees from. We raise queens for the packages that year. And so that's why the queen has to be in her own cage because the bees you shake in there, they're not familiar with the new queen yet. So you have a queen cage with a, usually a, a, a piece of candy separating her from the opening to where the bees are that she needs to get familiar with. And so every package is done this way. Usually it's capped with a piece of uh, plastic or it's capped with a cork to hold uh, the bees from eating the candy until you're ready. So when you get your package, I've got videos on this, you pull out the cork on the candy side or pull off the cap, plastic cap uh, that's hiding the candy and give the bees on the outside a chance to eat through the candy. You don't wanna directly release the queen in a package or they may not be accepting of her. So that's the difference between a package and a five frame nuke. Five frame nuke is simply that. Now, do you say a nuke or a nook? Um, you should always say nuke because it's a nucleus. Now let's talk about the kind of the pros and cons or the characteristics that make these two different kinds of approaches where you can start beekeeping. The most obvious one that I wanna address right off the bat is timing the calendar year, the season, and you know, all of that. So when do you get a package versus when should you get a nucleus? The timing is everything. Now you can probably get a package in the North as early as the middle to late part of March because they're being made up in the South or the West where it's warm and they're being shipped to you or carried to your bee club. So it, let's say you do get a package on March the 15th in the North. Guess what? You're getting no comb, you're getting 10,000 bees in a package in March, which I believe is way too early for packages in the North. Because 
if you take that same package and install it in the hive on March the 15th, usually here in Illinois, it's cold and we're getting sometimes snow in the month of March. So the bees that were in a nice hive in the south or out west, foraging, bringing a nectar because it's so much warmer. Now they've been shaken into a package, shipped to you, and you install them here in your hive. And if you're a new beekeeper, there's no frames that are drawn out yet, so they can't store anything. Even if you feed them, they can only eat it, they can't store it because there's no drawn comb in a new box. See what I'm saying? And so it's gonna take a package about one month to equal a five frame nucleus that has five frames drawn out that the queen has laid her eggs and now there's larvae and pupae and bees are being, uh, dying bees that are aging out are being replaced by, by new bees. So in other words, if you buy a package on March the 15th and install it and they survive your cold weather for a month, they will equal a nucleus that you could have bought in April. So it's a coin toss on the timing. You're not really doing any favors to your bees by getting them really early before there are nectar sources and warm weather that can help them along and grow from a package. So it's better, like here in Illinois where I live, it's better to get your packages later into April, middle to late April is the best time. About the time that dandelions are in full bloom is a great time to install a package of bees. So keep, no matter where you live, kind of let dandelions be the thing that kind of guides you on when you want to receive your package. That way, when you install your package, the bees can go right to work. And nucleuses can't be available real early, and here's why. Unless you go to the south and get your nukes made down there, like at the nukes that we make, we have to raise our own queens. And so we have to wait until April either to raise queens to replace the ones that are overwintered in our nukes or to the new ones that go in our nucleuses. So we can't really start raising queens much into late April or May. So in the north, it's hard to get nucleuses much before late April or May. Now, what about the queens in each of these? The queen in a nucleus and a queen in a package. The queen in a package of bees is a mated queen and she is in her own cage, sometimes with or without attendance. She's behind candy. That means there's a plug, a hole somewhere that has candy in it because we want the package of bees that are running around, once you install them, we want those bees in your hive to eat through the queen cage candy to uh, get familiar with the pheromones of the queen and bee release. Otherwise, a quick release, they may not recognize that queen because they've been shaken from a different hive. They could kill that queen. So you wanna give a day or two for the bees to eat through the candy and slowly introduce the queen that way. That's a whole purpose for the candy. Some of you told me last year that you got packages, not from us, we don't do it that way, but the packages did not have candy in the queen cages and the provider told you to put a marshmallow in the hole to help slowly release the queen. That'll work. My question is, who would do that and why? Queen candy isn't that hard to make. All of our packages, our queens are behind queen candy that the, the colony can eat through the candy and release that queen. Now in a five frame nucleus, in this situation, the queen is released. She's already been laying eggs. She is walking around. In fact, if you want to, when you buy a five frame nucleus, if you want to go to the trouble, you can ask your provider if they will open your nuke up and show you the queen. And uh, now there's a little, it's a little risky when you do that if you're doing it in the middle of the day because some of those bees are gonna fly and you won't get all the bees usually. So for us, we make sure our nukes are closed up at the end of the day when it gets you know almost sunset or dark and uh, encourage our uh, customers to pick up the nuke early in the morning before they start flying so you don't have to open their entrance yet. You can just take them home, open them up at your house. I have a lot more to compare between a nucleus and a package. Be sure and subscribe. Bobblehead David is here holding the sign. Please subscribe, appreciate it guys. Let's talk about absconding. Are you familiar with the word absconding? That means all the bees leave. Now this is more common and happens, it's risky with a package. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen, but when you install a package, you're installing animals, wild animals, they're in the animal kingdom, and those bees wanna go out to the trees sometimes where their natural habitat is. So sometimes, maybe 7% of packages I've heard will abscond. That means once you install them, once you put the queen in there, within a few days, all the bees could potentially leave. There's a lot of things you can do to keep the bees from absconding, and I've, I'll leave a link in the description below. I have a video on steps you can take to prevent absconding 
which is very critical. So please watch this video in the description below. Now, in a nucleus, they're not going to abscond because the queen's been laying eggs. There's eggs, larvae, pupae. They're taking care of their brood. They're not leaving. Absconding means all the bees leave. It's not swarming. Swarming is when half the bees leave because they're overcrowded. And they leave with the old queen and they raise a new queen. And the, that, the half that's left behind uh, takes over and gets the colony going. So absconding is when they all leave with the queen. Nobody's home except your empty frames. What about the comparison between a package and a nuke when it comes to diseases? Now, the nuke is at more of a risk of having potential diseases than a package is simply because a package of bees does not have any frames. It doesn't have comb. It's just bees in a box. And most of the, um, I guess most of the diseases we worry most about is found in the brood. American fowl brood, Mer uh, European fowl brood, sack brood, chalk brood. A lot of the big hitter diseases are associated with the brood. So with a package, you don't have the risk of the brood. With a nucleus, you do. That's why it's important to make sure that your nuke provider has their state inspector inspect the hives that they're gonna bring those nukes from. And that way you can make sure that there are no known diseases before those packages are made up. Now, what about pests? The difference between a package and a nucleus when it comes to pests like small hive beetle. Well, both, uh, both are kind of about the same, I think. There, you, you have a good chance of getting small hive beetle from either. Packages uh, can have small hive beetle dwelling among the 10,000 bees, hanging out with them because they were shaken out of hives in the south or the west. And remember, all packages come from the south or out west early in the season. And so a nucleus, however, uh, small hive beetles can be more easily controlled, uh, but there's still a potential that they're there. Now, with a nucleus, you may think, oh, I don't have to worry about it because I'm getting my nuke from a guy up north. He doesn't have small hive beetles, so on. But here's the thing. Remember, you're buying five frames, then some of those frames are brood frames. And so it's a potential that even though you may only see a few small hive beetle or none, potential there could be eggs that are laid by small hive beetle in the uh, in the box and around the brood area of the box and such. So you could still see small hive beetle develop in a nucleus that you buy or a package that you receive. The best thing to do, whether you buy a nuke or a package, put some beetle traps in there right from the, from the beginning. I've made a special video on how to deal with small hive beetle. I'll leave that link in the description below too. But the best way to do is put some old traps out, catch the beetles before they have a chance to lay eggs. Now, the pest that we're most worried about is the viral destructor mite. Let's talk about viral mites. Package or new? Which one is going to have the greater potential to have the problem of mites? Now, this is really not too much of an issue when you're deciding on which one would be less of a mite problem. I really don't think so. Mites can be on the outside of the bees in a package. They were shaken out of a hive that could have had mites. And so the mites could be hanging out externally because they're an exoparasite. Um, uh, they're on the outside of the bees. So they can be on the bees in a package. Whereas in a nucleus, they can be on the bees and they could be in the cap cells of the pupae waiting to be released as well. So mites are going to be on bees, whether they're a package or a nucleus. So the thing I recommend you do is just look at it like, you know, both of them are going to be mite potentials. So as soon as you get your package, as soon as you get your nucleus, I want you to go ahead and start testing as soon as you feel comfortable. When you have a package, you have 10,000 bees, and if you do an alcohol wash, you're killing 300. That seems kind of painful, but it's the same with a nucleus. You don't have a lot more than 10,000 bees in a five-frame nucleus, probably. But um, the number game is something you may want to wait a week or two for another generation to emerge before you do that first alcohol wash, just to get the numbers up a little bit. But start your mite test as soon as you can. Most people that sell nukes and sell packages uh, do a great job of treating those before you get them for mites. Now, what about the installation? Is a package easier to install or is a five-frame nuke easier to install? I think the package has a little bit more, I guess, uh, intense labor to it because you actually have to open up, you have to take the candy out, the candy jar out of your package. You have to remove the queen cage from the, the mated queen is in her own cage in the package. You have to move those and set those aside. And then you have to shake all the bees in there by removing uh, 
two to four frames of the hive and shake your bees in there. And then you have to uh, take the plug off your candy cage, uh, your queen cage. Then you have to kind of hold it and mount it in between the frames so it doesn't fall to the bottom with a paper clip or a Christmas tree ornament hanger. You got to hang the queen cage so the candy is pointing up in the package once it's in your hive. So that's a little bit of think, more things that you have to do, just a little bit. In a nucleus, you get a five frame nuke, you bring it home, and then you just simply move your five frames over into a hive by taking out, if you bought a hive with frames, then you take out five frames and replace it with five frames that have the drawn comb with the bees on it. So both of them are risky. And, and when you're installing a package, there's a risk that the queen doesn't get accepted. But on the other hand, when you're moving the five frames over, if you're a little bit clumsy and new to beekeeping, you could accidentally kill the queen by smashing her between two frames. While we're talking about the queen, what about queen acceptance between a package or a nucleus? The queen acceptance in a package is very much more risky because they have to get to know her. Most of the time it works great. In a nucleus, she's already accepted. You don't have to worry about it. What about the cost? What's the difference between a package and a nuke and cost? It's all over the board. It depends on the provider. But I would say probably an average cost, uh, probably for the upcoming season, is going to be close to $150 to $180 for a package and more closer to $200 for the five frame nucleus. And the reason the nuke is more expensive is because the beekeeper is giving you, as part of the deal, five frames and frames aren't cheap. Those frames are drawn out. So there was time and energy that the beekeeper had to work their bees to get the frames drawn out. So you have to pay more because you're keeping those five frames. Whereas a package, you don't have any frames and so it can be a little bit cheaper and the queen isn't walking around and released yet. Now this may be where you're most interested in is which one grows faster? Which one am I gonna be better off at getting the thing rolling faster? Is it gonna be a package or gonna be a five frame nuke? Well, you know what? I'm going to say it's going to be a tie for the reason I told earlier. If you, get a, if you get a package very early in the year, it's going to take them a month to equal what a nucleus is, that you could have waited a month and bought a nuke and still be tied at the same place. You see what I'm saying? Let me go through that again. If you bought a package on March the 15th, let's say the end of March. End of March, you buy a package. You install it. Now let's say you have the option to buy a five-frame nucleus at the end of April, a month later. So they're gonna look identical. So by the end of April, both of these are gonna be pretty much equal. So there's not a huge advantage in the growth. Both are gonna grow at the same rate once they get rolling to be equal to each other. And let me just tell you, if you get a package too early in the North, it won't do much at all. There's not much to forage on. They don't have any drawn comb. The queen can't lay a lot of eggs if it's cold. And so by, by thinking you're gonna get a head start in installing them earlier, it usually doesn't work that way. Now we talked about the uh, growth rate. Let's talk about the death rate. Now this is something you've probably never thought about. Ha, huh, this is gonna be fun. So the death rate. I wanted to bring you around to think like this. So a package of bees has been shaken out of a hive in the deep south or the out west. And these bees are springtime bees that live probably 45 days, okay? And so the bees that they've shaken into that package of bees they are anywhere from a brand new young bee that's a day old, or it could be a forager that's gonna to die tomorrow that's in that package. So a lot of the bees that you see in a package are mostly gonna be dead in 40 days. I would even say 80% of a package, the original bees in a package, 80% of them are gonna be gone and dead in, in 80% will be gone and dead in 40 days. Now, in a nucleus, that's entirely different. The death rate is different, believe it or not. Because when you buy a five-frame nucleus, remember, you're buying frames that have brood in them. So even though you have a death rate of bees dying that are aging out in a five-frame nucleus, you bought frames in there that have brood in various stages. That means capped over brood that's emerging the day you buy it. So those are new bees. So the numbers, I can't really uh, say for sure, but it's somewhere that in about 40 days later when you have a nucleus, you know, most, all the bees are dead 40 days later from a package. And a nucleus, 40 days later, they can be 50 to 100% more bees in your nucleus. 
because of that brood that continues to, um, to be emerging and you don't have to wait for your queen to start laying like you do on a package because they have to wait on drawn comb before the queen can start laying. I have two more things to share. I want to talk about the difference between uh, who has the best chance of overwintering a package or a nucleus and which ones are more available when you, when you need them or in your area. But before I do, let me encourage you to please subscribe. And also keep in mind, I have a live stream every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Love for you to join us on our live stream. Here's the link for the live stream right here. Now let's go ahead and talk about overwintering. Which is gonna do better, a package or a five frame nucleus? It has nothing to do with the package or the nuke. It really doesn't. It has everything to do with you, the beekeeper, how well you'll continue to keep mites under control. Both of them are gonna get caught up, uh, whether you start early or late with each one of those. They're gonna get kind of caught up with each other by uh, summer, they're gonna be doing their thing. And so it's all about controlling the mites. It's all about uh, giving them room to grow, keeping an eye on the queen, making sure they have plenty of room to lay a lot of eggs. So it doesn't matter as far as overwintering. Now, what about availability? Which one is more available, a nucleus or a package? By far, many more packages are available than there are nukes. And that's because nukes have to come from boxes of hives where packages can be shaken. So beekeepers that make up packages can sometimes shake several packages from one hive without depleting it entirely and losing the hive. And so beekeepers are able to make up a lot more packages to meet the demand of new beginners getting into beekeeping. Now, if you live in an area where you have beekeepers around you or you know some beekeepers, I strongly recommend that you pick up either your five frame nuke or you pick up your package from your beekeeper. I really do. Shipping is so incredibly hard on bees, it really is. Whether it's a, I don't think most people don't ship nukes, um, but uh, because nukes have to have special regulations on crossing county lines, and because they have brood, they could be transporting, uh, transferring brood with disease. Packages, not so much. So we can ship packages very easily. Nukes, not so much. But in the case where you're having your packages shipped to you, just be aware that a lot of transportation companies don't handle bees the way they should be handled. They're scared of bees, they're not familiar with bees. We've all read stories where bees get left out in an airport parking lot on a tarmac and they all perish in the heat. We see bees that are being flown around or boxed around in box trucks that overheat or get too cold. And so anytime you get a package, many of you experienced a lot of dead packages last year uh, and you get your package and the queen's dead and all the bees are dead in the box because they were shipped and they fell into bad weather, they weren't handled. Some people have even been known in transportation departments to wrap up bees with cellophane because they're scared of them and they don't want to get out. They put them in boxes, they put cloth over them, they suffocate them, overheat them. So that's really risky when you're trying to get bees shipped to you. We've done it for a century or longer. It happens, it works, but just know there's a risk involved in having your bees shipped to you. So always try to go and pick up your bees. Our packages of bees are gonna be available um, in the spring, in uh, late April, and they'll be available to be picked up here at our farm. And uh, those bees, we don't ship bees. We used to ship bees, too many catastrophes, and it's hard on bees. Those precious bees deserve better treatment, I think. So we only have you pick up both our nukes and our packages. If you are picking up your package of bees or your nuke, make sure that you always bring a smoker, smoker fuel, and a lighter, and make sure you wear a hat and a veil or a bee suit anytime you travel with bees. I know that you probably think nothing's gonna happen. You probably bought the little netting that goes around it and everything, it's gonna be fine. But look, something bad could happen. You could, God forbid, you could be in an accident that knocks the top open, cracks open something, bees are everywhere. You're gonna wish you had a bee suit and a smoker if something goes bad. So anytime you travel with bees, even on a trailer behind you, always have your smoker, hive tool, have things that you need. Just imagine the worst case scenario that you need to kind of get all the bees back in their box. How are you gonna do it if you've got no equipment, no bee suit, no smoker, always travel with the emergency things that you need in case something bad happens. Now this is really important. Now, how long can you wait with a package before you install it? Sometimes you might pick up a package or get a package in the mail and the weather is just crappy. It's snowing, it's rainy, it's a cold spring day. It's just pouring down rain. You want to install them because there's an inch of dead bees on the bottom of your package. You know they're dying. They don't live long in that package, but you just can't do it. It's, the weather's not right. Can you wait? 
You know what? You really should not wait. You really should install the package as soon as possible. One of the ways that I recommend you do it is just get under a porch or something, pick up your single deep on a bottom board with a top cover, install your bees in out of the rain, install them, put the queen where she needs to go in her queen cage, and then walk it out to the bee yard where you want them to be permanently in the rain, for example. That way you're minimizing the, the bees getting wet, you're minimizing the time you're getting wet and selling them in the rain. But you do need to install them the same day or the next day that you get your package. I don't recommend waiting. Some of you say, well, I'm gonna keep them in a nice warm garage. Again, these bees are aging out on you. They have to really get that queen out and start laying eggs as soon as possible. So it's not so much that the bees are gonna die, but it's that they're gonna die of, of age. Bees just don't live more than 45 days in that time of the year. So we need to get them going as soon as possible. Now, what about the five frame nuke? You pick it up, you take it home. I recommend you wait one day. Like if you travel uh, any distance at all, their bees are gonna getting joshed around and jostled around in the, in the box. Set them near the spot where you're gonna release them. Like if you've got a hive already set up like this one here, put them right next to the bottom board. Uh, the box, the, the, the transportation nuke box. Put it right next to the bottom board or in front of that bottom board and you can open them up and let them fly a little bit. But you want to make sure that you install them the next day. That, that They've had a chance to fly, settle down a little bit. I don't really like installing my five frame nukes the same day that I take them home because they can be a little defensive. Time of day on installing a package or a nucleus. Does it really matter what time of the day you install them? You know what? I have found it's better to install them late in the afternoon. There's a better chance the bees won't just fly away, get confused. They have a chance uh, maybe, you know, an hour or two before sundown to take a cleansing flight, kind of settle down a bit. Now, I wouldn't really want to install them early in the day. I like to do it late in the day so they can have the evening to get familiar with their new home. Now, those of you that like buying bees from us, we do sell both the nuke and we sell the packages. They both go on sale January the 1st. Our nukes are available usually the end of April or uh, somewhere in May, where our packages of bees go on sale January the 1st and are available at the end of April. So be sure and have your finger on the mouse on January the 1st to order your bees from us. Now, if you're new to beekeeping and you've never installed a package of bees before, I've made a video just for you to kind of get you familiar with it. Follow me over here, how to install a package. See you guys over there.